In this tutorial, we are going to be looking into VLOOKUPs, or as the name says, vertical lookups. The reason why the lookup is called vertical lookup or VLOOKUP is because it only works vertically. So you have to have your data aligned in columns vertically. It does not work horizontally. For that, there is another function, which is called HLOOKUP, which is much less common. We're going to be looking into two ways of doing a VLOOKUP. The first one, we're going to hard code our search key. And the second one, we're going to have a dynamic search key. OK, so what, we do, what we're going to do here, we have a table where we have names of fruits. So those are fruits that I sell in my market stand. I have, for each of those fruit categories, I have the price that I pay per box. Then I have the tax that I pay on top of this price and the total price. And what I'm looking for is for the price and the price before tax for a specific fruit. The fruit that I'm looking now in this case is a mangosteen. So in the first case, we are going to hard code that. As always, I'm going to start my function with an equal sign, so equals. And I'm going to start typing VLOOKUP v lookup. The assistant recognizes the function, so I'm going to click on it. And as always, it's going to explain to me how the function works. So the first thing that I need here is my search key. Basically, my search key is what I'm looking for. So let's say I am looking for the price of mangosteen. If you don't know, it's a delicious fruit. So I'm going to type it. I'm going to hard code it. Because I am typing it and it's a name, I have to put it a bit in between inverted commas. So I start with inverted commas and I'm going to write mangos teen. I'm going to close the inverted commas. So this is my search key, what I'm looking for. I'm going to enter a comma and now I need my range. Range is basically where I need the function to look for the word mangosteen. And I want my range to be from A2. I don't need the title, so I don't need to go from A1. So my, my, my range is going to be from A2 all the way down to the last value, which is in D25. So this is my range. I'm going to add a comma. Now I need my index. This is very easy once you understand. Index is basically the column that has the data you're looking for. So we have selected here four columns, right? The first column is one, the second column is two, the third column is three, and the fourth column is four. So if the data I'm looking for is in column 2, my index is going to be 2. If it's in column C, my index is going to be 3. If it's in column D, my index is going to be 4, and so on. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for the total price, the final price. So my index here is going to be 4. Comma. And then my last value. So, because in this case, we are only looking for an exact value, we need to add here either the word false or a zero. So I'm just going to write false. And that's my VLOOKUP complete. I'm going to press return. And that's the price of my mangosteen. If you want to double check this data, mangosteen is here in row 25 and the price is 376.3. So that's correct. Let's try this again. Equals VLOOKUP. My search key. So what I'm looking for is mangosteen. I'm going to write it again. Mangosteen between inverted commas, because that's text. The range, 
so the range that has my text. Again, I don't have to include, include the header, but I could. So I could just come here and do like that. Click from A to D and that selects everything that is from A to D. So that can be my range. Index. So what I'm looking for here now is the price before tax. So remember, we are going to count from the first column that has data in my selection to the last column. One, two, three, four. So what I'm looking for is price before tax. Price before tax is in column B, which is the second column in my selection. So my index is two. And now I need to tell the VLOOKUP that I only want exact data. So I can either write false or I can just simply type a zero in there. And that's again my VLOOKUP. Press return. And it's telling me that the price before tax was 350 for the mangosteen. If I come here to row 25, that's again correct. So let me just double click for us to look at the formula again. So the VLOOKUP, when you're reading it, is not as intuitive as other functions. But once you get the hang of it, once you get the idea in your head, it's actually very simple. So equals VLOOKUP name or the value that you're looking for, the range where you're looking for, the index, which is the column where the data you're looking for is, and then zero or false, just to let the formula know that you're only looking for exact values. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a VLOOKUP, but this time, instead of hard coding mangosteen, we're just gonna add a reference to a cell so we can change the fruit name. So let's start equals VLOOKUP search key. So in this case, my search key is going to be a cell, cell G6. At the moment, I don't have anything in there, but I'm going to type uh, the name of a fruit later. So what I'm looking for is whatever is in cell G6, my range is, and again, I can just select by highlighting my range. My index, what I need here is the final price. Remember, I have to count the columns. One, two, three, four, my index is four. And then I'm also going to add a zero just to let the function know that I'm only looking for an exact match. Press return. Now I have an NA here, but let's say, for example, I write fix. Now I have the answer for fix. Now I change my mind and I want the value for melon. Now I have the answer for melon. So you see where this is going. Let's do again equals we look up, gonna click on it. My search key is going to be again G6, comma, what is my range? I'm going to select by clicking A to D. That's my range. What is my index? Now I'm looking for price before tax. So let's call, count the columns again. One, two, my price is here before tax. So this is two. And as always, we're gonna type either zero or write false to let the function know that we are only looking for exact values. Return, and that's the price before tax of the melon. If you want to follow along with the tutorial, the spreadsheet that I'm working on is available and linked below on the comment box. All you have to do is open the link, then click on file, make a copy and save a copy to your drive. Thanks for watching.